YouTube long time no sit down and chat but here we are trying to think what to update you on since the last time we spoke I think the biggest thing is that Heteromias and I got married in July there was a lot of preparation for that and it was a very busy time with our families coming together a ton of his family came from Argentina we were really 
trying to stay in the moment and just soak it all in. But now things are a bit more back to normal. I'm excited to take you with me for some of these concerts and music related things that I have coming up. So I hope you all are doing well. Let me know what you've been up to since the last time we chatted, how the school year is going for you so far. If you're in school, if you're studying music, let me know. So like you saw earlier in this vlog, Santiago and I are preparing for a recital that we have at the end of October in upstate New York. And I thought that I would show you exactly what's on our program. So our program is nature themed. I've entitled it Landscapes and Seascapes. Maybe not every piece is directly related to nature in a very specific way, but pieces that evoke feelings of being in nature. And for me, one of those is definitely the Copeland duo, especially with the opening. I mean, this is just being in wide open spaces. This is one of my favorite pieces ever. And it's Santiago's first time playing it, so it's gonna be fun putting this together. And then we've got a piece by Valerie Coleman, who is amazing. I got to meet her recently. She is just incredible. So I'm so excited to get to play this piece. And it is, of course, about the Amazon. And then we've got Orange Dawn by Ian Clark. And this is a piece that I have never gotten the chance to play before, so I'm excited to work on this. I heard it for the first time several years ago at a masterclass, and it really left an impression. And then, moving on, we've got a piece by Gobert, and then also a piece by Anderson. This is moving on into the more waterscape. Two little gems of pieces, really excited to get the chance to perform these. And then finishing out the program, we have the Reineke Undine Sonata. And I recently got this nifty Urtex edition. So it's been interesting to read about the piece there. And this is a piece that I've played before a while ago now. So it's nice to get to revisit it and share it with Santiago. And it's always fun when you get to come together and put new and old rep together and just getting the chance to explore some of these awesome pieces that we're so lucky to have in our repertoire.